I'm going to call the City Council for October 15th to order. Please stand and salute our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Councils, please stay standing. Council Cruz, please. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to ask that we remain standing for a moment of silence for two wonderful people both buried today in the city. Uh, Joe Sly was a 38-year employee of the school department and is the father of uh, Tracy Holland, who works still at the school department. And then I think we all know that uh, a wonderful young man, T uh, Timmy Moynihan, 30-year battle with Bath syndrome, passed away and was buried this morning, the son of our own Councilor Moynihan. Uh, hearts go out to the Moynihan family, and Timmy was a great kid who didn't have great taste because he always said Bob Sullivan was his favorite counselor. He did. And he could have said me, but <laughs> we, we miss him, and uh, I'd like to ask for a moment of silence for both of those people. Thank you. Thank you, Council. May they rest in peace. And our Amen. sympathy to both families. Thoughts and prayers are with them. Go on to agenda item number one, please. Acceptance of the minutes of the September 23rd, 2019 City Council meeting. Accepted, please stood file. We have the appointment of Eric S. Smith as a special police officer, the City of Brockton, for a one year term ending January 2020. For the Finance Committee. The appointment of William Sharnick of 82 Main Street, Marion Mass, as a constable, City of Brockton, for a term of three years. For the Finance Committee. The reappointment of Carlos Varela, 40 Briarcliff Road, Brockton, to the Brockton Community Cable Television Board for a term of three years and to fulfill the unexpired term ending September 2021. That too referred to Finance Committee. We have for her and petition Aristides Soterio. 29 Herman Street, Brockton, for transfer garage license located at 12 Riverside Avenue, Brockton, and City Clerk's Office, September 27, 2019. Hearing is signed for October 15, 2019, at 7 p.m. All paperwork is on file, and the fire department has no objections. Time haven't arrived. I declare the hearing open. If there's anyone here in favor, please come to the podium. Anyone here on this agenda item in the chamber? Sir, are you here? Yes. Aristide Centeo. Centeo. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have my glasses. There we go. Good evening, how are you? All right, how are you doing? Good, thank you. If you could state your name for the record, please. Name is Aristide Centeo. What, which ward is this, Councilors? Four. Ward four. This is four. Councilor, have any question on this? Um, Mr. Centeo and I have spoken. Uh, the question that I have, and he is aware of it, is I just want to make sure that he is aware of the conditions on the license that was granted to his tenant, Armando Mendez. Yes, I am. Yes. I have another copy here for you just in case. And also, um, I'm going to need, you, you're going to have to have a, another lease, right? Because the lease runs to Mr. Gill, the former owner, but now you need a lease between you and Mr. Mendez, right? Yes. I think I have a lease already at home. You have, okay. I need that. Okay, I will. Okay, mm -hmm. so we'll talk in the morning and you'll get that to me? Yes, ma'am. I'm comfortable going forward because Mr. Santeo has done everything I've asked him to do. Thank you, Councilor. Okay, thank you. Is there anyone else here in the chamber uh, in favor of this? Third and final time. Anyone here in the chamber in favor of this matter would like to come forward? That part of the hearing is closed. Anyone here in opposition? Anyone in the chamber in opposition? Third and final time. Anyone in opposition relative to this agenda matter? That part of the hearing is closed. And Councilor? This is going to be on granting now. All in favor of granting. All opposed. It's hereby granted. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a good evening. You too. Number six, M Mr. Clerk. Does you want to postpone it? <coughs> number six. Oh, may I make a motion to continue number six, which is Unit 5B at 50 Meadowbrook Road? Second. I'd like to continue it to the next city council meeting in two weeks. Second. Thank you. We'll, uh, we're going to entertain that, but let's, read, let's just read the, the, the matter into the record, please. Gail of very, <clears throat> I'm sorry, 943 Front Street, Weymouth, for a garage license located at 50 Meadowbrook Road, Unit 5B, Brockton, Mass. This motion on the floor is properly second to postpone it to the next uh, full city council meeting. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed, that motion carries. Postpone to the next full city council meeting. Thank you. 
Velasquez Management, LLC, President and Manager 23, Joseph Lane, East Walpole, for transfer of motor vehicle repair mechanical license, located at 743 Warren Avenue, Brockton, in Clerk's Office, June 26, 2019. Hearing is signed for October 15, 2019, at 7 p.m. All paperwork on, fi uh, on file. Fire Department has no objections. Time haven't arrived. I'm going to declare the hearing open. If there's anyone here forward, uh, please come forward to stake to the podium. Uh, podium. Attorney Creedon. Evening, Mr. President, and through you to members of the Council, Attorney Jake Creedon, 71 Legion Parkway, Brockton. With me is the prior owner, Franz Joseph, who owned the place and ran it for many years, and Edgar Vasquez, who is the present owner. If you recall, in August, this board, uh, this uh, council, approved his garage license on the, tr on the, on the transfer. Since then, um, and that particular night, um, uh, Deputy Williams had a number of issues with uh, the place itself. I want to say some 15. He sent me a letter. I sent it to Edgua. And as far as I know, he, uh, in fact, uh, Deputy Williams called me on Friday. He approved the situation. He has approved all of the things. There may be an issue on the, uh, the which would be the next hearing on the uh, spray booth situation. But that's being remedied at this time. But I just want to uh, disclose that to the council. Uh, I have actually been to the site myself, and what was in the back rear of the situation, many, many junk cars. Edgar has removed them all, which was one of the requests. And all of what was about 10 of the minor situations, about um, um, uh, what do you call them? Uh, fire, little, little, little things. He did them all, and the big things, uh, toilets, all the situation. He is on present. The law, of course, as you know, is that is he a suitable person? He and his brothers have run a place in Rosendale, still do. So he's been in the business without a violation from the city of Boston, correct? Yeah. None. <laughs> he's ever present. Um, it's a C2 zone. Uh, that. When Franz owned it for many years and he had mortgages on it, uh, Franz did a great job of doing uh, all the things other than overcrowding the situation. But he's no longer the owner but supports. And he did transfer the property to Edgar's uh, LLC. Um, I can tell you that there is 14 uh, spaces um, that are actually spaces that can be there, 180 square feet uh, by 10 feet. But also, uh, the previous license said there not to be more than six cars uh, inside. Well, We'd be looking for be. the same situation. Uh, the last situation is the original license now says eight to seven. We would like to have seven to seven Monday through Friday, and then on Saturdays, um, uh, seven to six. No Sundays. There is also a condition and restriction, which he goes, no Sundays, of course. So certainly, um, again, I think he's a person that under the statute and the ordinances qualifies as somebody that is suitable for that situation. And I would in, in, in encourage any questions from the council. I know the council from Ward 3 has viewed the situation. Thank Chelsea you. Neary. <clears throat> thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. And uh, good evening. Uh, uh, Mr. Creedon, Attorney Creedon, and uh, the, the gentlemen here that are present with you in regards to the um, transfer of the licenses here. And, and I do not have a problem with um, what is transpiring. And um, you and I know we, we just had conversation last, last week, Attorney Creedon, uh, in, in your office uh, as well as on other issues. And I know at the last um, meeting there was some issues pertaining to land and all that type of situation that was brought to our attention. Um, but that's been flushed out. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Mr. Creed, you and I discussed that as well. I um, had our city solicitor uh, appoint the assistant city solicitor, Attorney Murphy, to flush out that whole situation with, with land. And, and the clearance there is um, pretty much, um, you know, the way that it looks as the fact that they own the land that's in back of them and they have a residential piece and the constituent that is raising the issues owns the land that her home is on and everything else is all city and it's all easements so correct um we're not here tonight to talk about land we're here to talk about 
the mechanical license and the vehicle repair body license. And uh, with that being said, uh, Mr. Chairman, I do not have a problem with what, with what they're doing. Um, as, the, as the attorney said, it is in a C2 zone area. So um, again, and that work was also done with Deputy Fire Chief and I were, were there several sure. times looking it over as, as well. And as I indicated, uh, Councillor, uh, Mr. Joseph, who was the owner, was brought into court on three occasions anyway against Mr. what we were doing. We had an actual survey done uh, right to scale, everything, and all three cases that she brought against him were dismissed. So exactly. uh, I, know there, I know there was a priest here last week, uh, not last two months ago, that testified on her behalf. But again, I talked to the priest afterwards. He said the, the objector said that she was going to leave her land when she died to the Friar Brothers up at the Westgate Mall. So I would hope that the board considers passing this. Any other questions from the council? Any other questions? Oh, they put the a council? fence up too. They're, they're going to put a fence. Yeah. Right, exactly. They put a fence up. Yep. Has he got any stipulations? Council, in there, in, in there, do you have any steps on this one? I, I think we. I, I think the stipulations. Um, we made stipulations at the last meeting um, for their hours, uh, but uh, right now, I think you're asking for a, a change from the eight to be seven to seven uh, Monday through Friday, and, and seven to six on. Uh, Saturday and, and nothing on uh, naturally no business on Sunday exactly. holiday. So I think every other auto body starts at seven. So in in uh, in keeping I, things equal I, I and don't, code, I don't have a problem with that. I okay. just want to make sure that um, you know we've had trouble over the, over the years where people do not adhere to it, and I think it's time people have to adhere to it. I I just don't want to go by at eight thirty nine o'clock and say, on well, Sunday. Uncle Joe <laughs> just pulled in and I need to fix his car. You know what I'm saying? Can't do it. Yeah. You, you know where yeah. I'm going. Yeah. He's been in the business a long time in Rosendale and so I don't have never a problem, a problem. Mr. Chairman, with those. Thank you, Councilor. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions uh, from the Council? Anyone else here in favor? Anyone here in the Chamber? This will be the third and final time in favor of this. That part of the hearing is going to be closed. Is there anyone here in opposition? If so, please come forward. And I would like to be the comment, please. Please, please come forward. Good evening. This, this lady was here before. Yep. Talking about it, she's the neighbor. She's got a question about the infringement of the lot. Good evening. Good evening. If you could state your name again for the record, please. I'm Father John Keane um, at the Chapel of Our Savior. Thank you for being here, Father. And. Uh, I would like to give you this. Anna, because of her English, has asked me to read this letter that she presents to the distinguished members of the council. So it's my mm -hmm. humble honor to do this. Thank you. My dear counselors for the city of Brooklyn, Massachusetts, after working and thinking for 20 years that I own these properties that belong to the city and to Ms. Velasquez, I now realize that I am wrong. I know that she is wrong because she's included a, a map of the area with the names of the Mr. Velasquez and also the city on them. She continues, I ask for your kindness and mercy because I'm a person who has relied upon these properties to feed my children, one who is now with the United States Marines, the other in a seminary in Philadelphia. I would like to apologize to Mr. Velasquez for any inconveniences that, may, that I may have caused him. I would like to be a good neighbor. I would like to ask the city councilors if they continue to allow the poor people of my neighborhood, like myself, 
to use this property to feed our families. We are blessed with a stream of water that provides the water for our crops, crops like corn, tomatoes, and squash, that take away any overflow from damaging other properties in the area. Thank you for your attention to this matter. Sincerely yours, Mrs. Anna Silviera. Thank you very much, Father. Thank you for reading that into the record. Uh, Councilor, uh, Councilor from War 3, do you have any? I, I, I do not. I, I, think it's, I think it's very clear. Thank you, Father, and I think she, under, she understands it as well. So, you know, it, it's been flushed out, and we all know, you know, just what's ours to what's hers. And, yes, you know, we need, we a little need, bit difficult. We need, to, we, we need to move forward, and I think that's what she, she's ready to do. You know, just to my own part, um, uh, when I was in New York, uh, I worked with a community of other pastors in the area called the Peace Hill Area Pastoral Association. When you shorten it, it's Papa. Hmm. And uh, we were very interested in feeding the poor of the area. And down in New Yorktown Heights, which is not too far from Pisco, about 20 miles, if that. We started with the, the city of Yorktown, a garden of hope that fed the poor people of the area. And the crops that were produced were distributed by the local churches. I'm just saying that as a part of an ind indication that Perhaps some of you counselors don't know exactly what to do with the property at the pres present time there at Warren Avenue. So I just put that little bit in myself. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Father. Have a good evening. Thank you, Father. Is there anyone else here in the chamber in opposition? Third and final time. That part of the hearing is closed. Now the matter comes before us, counselors. Those in favor of granting, please raise your hand. Those opposed, it's hereby granted. Go on to the next agenda item, please. Patricia Velasquez, manager, LLC, president manager <clears throat> for a transfer of motor vehicle repair body license located at 743 Warren Avenue, Brockton, and clerk's office, June 26, 2019. Hearing assigned for October 15, 2019 at 7 p.m. All paperwork on file. Fire department has objections as it does not conform to standards outlined by Mass General Laws, CMR, and ROCB. Currently, there is no proper equipment to allow for painting, priming, or bonding, and the approval of the equipment and the installation by the fire department after inspection and installation, the fire department would then have no objections. Time haven't arrived, I'm gonna declare the hearing open. If there's anyone in favor, please state your name. Thank, Thank you, again, Mr. Chairman, Attorney Jay Creighton, 71 Legion Parkway, Brock, and with me is Franz Joseph, former owner and uh, Edgar Velasquez, who is the present owner. Uh, same argument before to save time with the council. Um, wonderful guy, as, as, uh, believe, believe me, he is a suitable person, as we have under the law, to comply with the law and do what city code enforcement people want to see it done. Thank you, attorney. <coughs> Councilor, you near I'm, I'm all set with the uh, Thank you, Councilor. Thank Anyone you. else here in favor? Third and final time, anyone here in favor? Father, the hearing is closed. Anyone here in opposition? Anyone here in the chamber in opposition? Third and final time in opposition, that part of the hearing is closed. Question now comes before us on granting, counselors. All in favor of granting? All opposed? It's hereby granted. Thank, Thank you, Mr. You. President. Thank you, members of the council. Thank you, have a good evening. Petition of Ed's Total Auto Solutions, LLC, Eduardo Gonsalves, 81 Mona <clears throat> Drive, Brockton, for transfer of motor vehicle repair mechanical license located at 347 North Pontello Street in City Clerk's Office, June 17, 2019. Hearing is signed for October 15, 2019 at 7 p.m. All paperwork on file. Fire Department has no objections. I'm going to declare the hearing open. If there's anyone here in favor, please come forward to state your name. Uh, my name is uh, Attorney Thomas Canavan. My office is at 450 Pleasant Street in Brockton, and I'm here with Eduardo Gonsalves, who is the proposed new owner. Thank you, Attorney. Uh, who's, who's the ward counselor in this one? 343. This is yours, right? Yeah, I thought it was yours. Yeah. North Montello? No, that's what uh, I thought. North Montello? North Montello. Is this you, Jack? I'd, I'd have to check the, uh, the exact address. I, I haven't met with the 
Could either be seven or six up there. Any it's not seven. It's not seven. Okay. Can Give we uh, postpone this to the end of the meeting? Council has asked for professional courtesy to postpone number nine just to the end so he can talk uh, to the applicant. Any, any opposition on that? Can we get a second on that? Second. Is there a second made? All in favor? All opposed? We're just going to postpone it temporarily, okay? Sure. Thanks, attorney. Got it. And Counselor. Then, I'll, I'm going to do the same for number 10. Number 10 as well? Yes. Second. We won't even read it then. There's a motion on the floor is properly seconded to postpone until we take it to the end of the meeting. All in favor? All opposed? Motion carries. We're going to postpone 9 and 10 just until the end of the meeting so attorney, attorney can speak to a counselor. Number 11. Counselor. May I make a motion to take 11, 12, and 13 all together? And then you're going to make a subsequent motion on those as well? I am. Okay. So if we could just read a uh, There's a motion on the floor. Was there a second? Second, uh, to take 11, 12, and 13 collectively. All in favor? All opposed? It carries. If we could read 11, 12, and 13, please. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. At this time, I would like to make a motion to continue these for two weeks. Just going to read it into the motion, oh, oh, and then sorry, we will. Sorry. Second. Okay. For transfer of garage license located at 50 Meadowbrook Road, Unit 3. In clerk's office, April 23rd, 2019. Here it is signed for October 15, 2019 at 7 p.m. All paperwork on file. Fire department has no objections. We have the following for a classic auto body and repair, 360 Ferry Street Fall River, transfer of motor vehicle repair mechanical license located at 50 Meadowbrook Road, Unit 3. And also we have the classic auto body repair uh, for a transfer motor vehicle repair body license located at 50 Meadowbrook Road, Unit 3. In clerk's office, April 23rd, 2019. Hearing is signed for October 15, 2019 at 7 p.m. All paperwork on file. Fire department has objections as it does not conform to standards outlined by Mass General Law, CMR, and ROCOB. Currently, there's no proper equipment to allow for painting, priming, or bonding, and the approval of the equipment and the installation uh, inspected by the, department, by the fire department then would have no objections. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. So we have 11, 12, and 13. They've been read collectively. There's a motion that was properly seconded to postpone 11, 12, 13 to the next city council meeting. All in favor? All opposed? Thank they you. are hereby postponed to the next city council meeting. We will now go on to number 14, please. We have the report of the audits committee for its meeting of September 26, 2019. Accepted place on file. Report of the finance committee for its meeting of October 7, 2019. That too, accepted place on file. A communication from the mayor advising the effective, that effective October 4, 2019 at 4.30 p.m. Captain <coughs> Stephen Williamson has been appointed as acting police chief for the city of Brockton pursuant to Mass General Laws Chapter 41, Section 51A. Uh, accepted place on file. From the superintendent of Park stating that at the Park Commission meeting of September 12, 2019, the Park Commission had approved the request of a right of easement for national grid and requested that the City Council approve the acceptance and ask that the stipulations as presented by the Park Commission be included in any and all easement documents. That too is accepted and placed on file. From the District Treasurer of the Southeastern Regional School District stating that on September 12, 10, 2019, the Southeastern Regional School Committee voted to revise the fiscal 2020 budget to reflect the changes made to the Commonwealth's final adopted budget, resulting in an increase of $454 in the fiscal year 2020 budget to $28,590,008. The committee also voted no changes in community assessments from the uh, prior certified vote sent to the council in March. This will result in Southeastern being below their net school spending requirements for fiscal 20 by $44,733. The certified amount to be apportioned to the city of Brockton for a share of capital and operating costs, <clears throat> Southeastern Regional District for the current fiscal year, fiscal 20, remains at $4,051,342. Except the place to file. We have a communication from the Director of Planning and Economic Development submitted in a report by Alex Bob, Master of City Planning, 
Institute of Technology, Department of Urban Studies and Planning, that provides insight to the relationship between housing development and their impact on municipal and school department finances. Captain, place on file. I have a communication from the DPW Commissioner requested that the City Council consider implementing a new ordinance to the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, illicit discharge and connection stormwater ordinance. The purpose of this ordinance is to provide for the health, safety, and general welfare of the citizens of the city through the regulation of non-stormwater discharge to the storm drainage system to the maximum extent practical as required by federal and state law. This ordinance establishes methods for controlling the introduction of pollutants into the municipal uh, separate storm, storm sewer system, MS4. In order to comply with the requirements of the National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System permit process. Something placed on file. From the Mayor in accordance with Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, recommending that the City Council authorize a total appropriation of $4,900,000 4, using the form of order with language recommended by Attorney <laughs> Richard Manley of Lock Lord LLP, the City Council's City Board Council, in order to provide funding through borrowing set amount is to pay costs of the 2019 phase of the city sewer system uh, rehabilitation project. Something placed on file. Communication from the CFO recommending the same. That too, except on place on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the city council amends the water purchase agreement, which originated on May 22, 2002, and was amended September 6, 2018, between the city of Brockton and Aquaria LLC. Accept and place on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. That too, accept and place on file. Communication from the mayor's office grants coordinator requests an authorization to accept to spend total grant funds any amount of 25000 from the Mass Office of Attorney General's Technology to enrich community housing grant to mayor's <coughs> Office tech, Technology to Enrich Community Housing Grant Fund. These funds will be used to implement new code enforcement software that will ensure safer neighborhoods and allow the Attorney General's abandoned housing initiative to cooperate more closely with city on receivership projects. Accept and place on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accept and place on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Accept and place on file. Yeah. <clears throat> communication from, from the director requesting that the city council authorize acceptance expenditures of the total grant funds in the amount of $4,967.21 from the Mass Emergency Management Agency Fiscal 2018 State Home and Security Program grant to Brockton Emergency Management Agency Fiscal 2018 State Homeland Grant Fund. These funds will be used to purchase a new 10,000 watt generator. No match is required. Accept the place to file. We have a communication from the mayor recommending the same. That too is accepted and placed on file. A communication from the CFO relative to the same. Also accepted and placed on file. A communication from the BEMA director requested that the city council authorize the acceptance and expenditures of the total grant funds in the amount of $9,997.05 from the Mass Emergency Management Agency, Fiscal 2018, Emergency Management Performance Competitive Grant to Brockton Emergency Management Agency Fiscal 2018 Emergency Management Performance Competitive Grant Fund. These funds will be used to purchase emergency sheltering equipment. No match required. Accept and place on file. Communication from the mayor relative to the same. Also accept and place on file. Communication from the CFO <coughs> recommending the same. That too is accept and place on file. Yeah. Communication from the grant coordinator of the police department requesting the city council authorize the acceptance expenditures of total grant funds, any amount of $12,000 from the Mass Department of Public Health, Bureau of Substance Abuse Addiction Services, Fiscal 2020, First Responders, Naloxone Grant to Brockton Police Department, Fiscal 2020, First Respondents, Naloxone Grant Fund. These funds will be distributed between the police and fire department to purchase Naloxone, otherwise known as Narcon, and supply it related to the administration of the drugs. There is no match required. Accept the place on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. Accept the place on file. Communication from the CFO relative the same. That to accept and place on file. We have an ordinance amending Chapter 2, Division 5, Section 2-183 of the RISE Auditors of the City of Brockton, 
being ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton, Section 2-183 of Chapter 2 of the Revised Ordinances, is hereby amended by inserting subsection C as follows. Section C, the City Solicitor shall provide to the City Council copies of all documents which would otherwise be available to the public and which are related to any <coughs> civil or other legal action wherein the City. Its offices, agents, or departments are named as defendants or respondents, or where the city is a plaintiff. For the purpose of this section, public is defined as those documents which are received by the city or filed by the city, and which are deemed public pursuant to applicable court rules, regulations, or law. The city solicitor strike that the solicitor shall provide such copies within 14 days of the date of filing of said documents annually, not less than April 1st and thereafter. The City Solicitor shall provide to the City Council a quarterly report of pending legal actions and the statute of that status of that legation. <clears throat> In Council, May 28, 2019, ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Ordinance, that report was favorable as amended. Questions on ordination as amended by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. A said? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGeary? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. That's 10 in the affirmative. The order is hereby ordained. An ordinance repealing Article 19 of the Brockton City Ordinances relative to the establishment of the Thatcher Street Overlay District. In Council, July 27, 2019, ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Ordinance and Planning. That report was no recommendations planning and unfavorably by ordinance. Question is on passing to a third reading by a hand vote. All those in favor of passing to a third reading? All those opposed? <laughs> Put your hands up, please, so I can count. Councilor Lally, are you? Uh, can you take your seat for a minute, please, to vote? You want a roll call? Huh? Yeah, that's okay. Why don't you call a roll call? Huh? We'll do that by roll call vote. So the question is whether or not it passes to a third reading. So if you do want it to pass to a third reading, vote yes. No. ASAC? No. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? No. Darrencourt? Yes. <clears throat> Ian Erie? No. Farwell? No. Lally? No. McGeary? Yes. Nicastro? No. And Sullivan has recused himself? So it fails um, to receive enough votes to pass to a third reading. That was three in favorable of passing to a third reading and, one, two, three, and six in the negative. Does not pass to a third reading. Item number 39. Reappointment of William R. May, Jr. of 61 Oak Street, Brockton, to the position of Director of Planning and Economic Development for the City of Brockton for five-year term ending June 2024. In Council, September 23, 2019, ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Questions on confirmation by a roll call vote. Uh, Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? No. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Oh. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGeary? Yes. Nicastro? No. Sullivan? Yes. That's seven in the affirmative, two in the opposition. The reappointment is hereby confirmed. The reappointment of David Campbell, 16 Belcher Avenue, Brockton, as a constable of the city of Brockton for a term of three years and council September 9th, 2019. Ready with the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Questions on confirmation by roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGeary? Yes. Castro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. 
Ten in the affirmative. The appointment is hereby confirmed. An order of authorization of the payment of $43,494.98 from the Fiscal 20 Finance Purchase of Services to review with Solar for the billing period of May 28, 2019 through June 25, 2019, and Council September 9, 2019. Reading referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. Uh, the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGeary? Yes. DeCastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. That's 10 in the affirmative. Order is hereby adopted. Order to transfer in the amount of $433,324 from the Law Department Purchase of Services to Law Department Personal Service other than overtime. End Council, September 9, 2019. Reading referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable. The uh, question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, can I read the roll? ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darren Court? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGarry? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Order is hereby adopted. Okay, let's see. I don't know. 43. <clears throat> Audit acceptance and expenditures of the total grant funds in the amount of $240,000 from Mass Department of Energy Resources Green Community Competitive Grant to City of Brockton Mayor's Office Green Community Competitive Grant Funds. End Council September 29, 2019. Ready referred to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable or the condition that an answer is given within one week in regards to the difference of $91,590. Does the city have to make up this difference? Was the questions. Councilman Castro. Thank you. Good evening. Um, Karen Preval of the Finance Office did provide me with additional information last week. And in fact, the city is receiving that $9,000 in reductions from National Grid, and there is no match required. So I am satisfied in going forward. Thank, Thank you. you now the, uh, the question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGarry? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Uh, the question is hereby adopted. <clears throat> Resolved to put on notice the owners and operators of Lubris Auto Body located at 64 Elliott Street, Brockton, and the owners or operators of D and G Auto located at 8 Perkins Street, Brockton, to notify them that a public hearing will be held concerning revocation of their licenses. And Council, September 23, 2019, ready to refer to the Standing Committee on Finance. That report was favorable with authorization for the City Clerk to set up public hearings for November 25, 2019, and City Council meeting to revoke the license. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Madam Clerk, kindly read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Erie? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGeary? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. It's 10 in the affirmative. Order is hereby adopted. Order the Department of Public Works would like to request that the City Council consider implementing a new ordinance to the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton, illicit discharge and connection stormwater ordinance. That's referred to our ordinance committee. An ordinance amending Article 2, Section 2-91 of the City Ordinances be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. That Section 2-91 of Chapter 2 is hereby amended by striking out Section E in its entirety and replacing it relative to Committee on Real Estate. That is referred to our Ordinance Committee. Ordered that the Brockton City Council, acting on behalf of the City of Brockton, approve the request of a right of easement for National Grid as approved by the Park Commission in its meeting of September 12, 2019, as stipulated. Council, I'm going to take a one minute recess if I could.
Thirty seven is referred to finance and planning, please. Order the sum of four million nine hundred thousand dollars is appropriated to pay costs of sewer system rehabilitation work, including but not limited to projects designed to address sources of exfiltration, infiltration, and inflow and section of undersized pipe, and for the payment of all costs incidental and relative thereto. And that to meet this appropriation, the treasurer, with the approval of the mayor, is authorized to borrow said amount under and pursuant to Mass General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 7 and 8, or pursuant to any other enabling authority, and to issue bonds or notes of the city therefore. Further Finance Committee, please. Order that the City Council amend the water purchase agreement, which originated on May 22, 2002, and was amended on September 6, 2018, between the City of Brockton and Aquaria LLC. Further Finance. Ordered that acceptance of expenditures of the total grant funds, any amount of $25,000 for the Mass Office of the Attorney General Technology to Enrich Community Housing Grant, to Mayor's Office Technology to Enrich Community Housing Grant Fund. Mr. President. Council. I'd like to uh, move that we act on, uh, under the suspension of rules and vote on this tonight. Second. Motion on the floor is properly seconded uh, for number 50 to uh, suspend the rules and act under this tonight. All in favor? All opposed, that motion carries. We will uh, now read the roll. Madam Clerk, if you could kindly read the roll. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGeary? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. That's 10 in the affirmative. Order is hereby ordained. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Sir. Order acceptance of expenditures of the total grant funds any amount of $4,967.21 for the Mass Emergency Management Agency Fiscal 2018 State Homeland Security Program Grant to Brockton Emergency Management Agency Fiscal 2018 State Homeland Grant Fund. Mr. President? Yes, Council. I'd like to move suspension of the rules and act on this tonight. Second. Motion on the floor is properly second. Act on the suspension rules. All in favor? All opposed? Motion carries. Madam Clerk, if you could kindly read the rule. ASAC? Yes. Beauregard? Yes. Cruz? Yes. Darrencourt? Yes. Ian Airy? Yes. Farwell? Yes. Lally? Yes. McGeary? Yes. Nicastro? Yes. Sullivan? Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Order is hereby ordained. Ordered acceptance of expenditures of the total grant funds in the amount of $9,997.05 from Mass Emergency Management Agency Fiscal 2018 Emergency Management Performance Competitive Grant to Brockton Emergency Management Agency Fiscal 2018 Emergency Management Performance Competitive Grant Fund. For the Finance Committee. Audit acceptance of expenditures of the total grant funds, any amount of $12,000 from the Mass Department of Public Health, Bureau of Substance Abuse Addiction Services, First Respondents, Naloxone Grant to Brockton Police Department, Fiscal 2020, First Responders to Naloxone Grant Fund. For the finance, please. Now we're going to go back to uh, Councilor Lally's number nine and number 10. Thank you, Councilor. Um, I've spoken with. Uh, with the with the attorney and with the uh, you know, with the we've uh, worked it out. I have they, so basically they've got stipulations already on the property. Um, we've discussed them. That made some slight changes, which I will submit to the clerk. Uh, but I'm I'm perfectly fine with uh, approving this license. Thank you, Councilor. Is there anyone else here in favor? Third and final time. Anyone here in favor? Part of the hearing is closed. Anyone here in the, uh, in the chamber in opposition? Anyone in opposition? Third and final time in opposition. Part of the hearing is, is, uh, is closed. Now the question is on, on granting with no objection from Councilor Lally. All in favor of Mr. granting? Mr. Chairman, Council. could we just read this, the, the amended stipulations that sure, we can read them apparently the have been? Um, so the hours are currently Monday to Friday, 8 to 7, uh, making it Monday to Friday, 7 to 7, uh, and Saturday, 7 to 6. No Sundays, that stays. Uh, 17 cars outside during the day, 10 overnight. Um, then there's a requirement for plantings that is not currently uh, being followed. And so that's, that's gonna be removed. Thank, mm -hmm. thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Councilor. Uh, uh, the question now is on granting with the stipulations as stated by Councilor Alley. All in favor of granting with the stips? 
All opposed, that motion carries. It's granted with the steps as stated. And then, uh, okay. number 10. Uh, again, Councilor Lally, you have anything to opine on this? No, everything's okay. fine. Is there anyone else here? Again, you stated your name, attorney. Thank you. Anyone else here in favor? Anyone here in favor? Third and final time in favor. The pilot hearing is closed. Anyone here in the chamber in opposition to this matter? Anyone in opposition? Third and final time. Look at the body shop. Uh, this part of the hearing is closed as well. Now the question is going to be on granting. Um, all in favor? All opposed? It's hereby granted. Thank you very much, Thank gentlemen. You. I do believe we have a late file. Yeah, Mr. President, I have a late file um, in regards to our outside counsel. If I could have a second. second. Thank you, counsel. Second. Motion of floor is properly second for a late file. And Council October 15, 2019, audit, pursuant to provisions of Mass General Laws, Chapter 268A, the City Council hereby designates the position of outside counsel to the City Law Department and the City Clerk's Office as a special municipal employee. Referred to the Finance Committee? Referred to the Finance. Anything else before us? We have these, uh, the new designation, Council's Recognition. The Dean. Thank, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just want to remind those that are on the Public Safety um, Committee that we'll be having a meeting next Monday evening, October 21st, 2019, at 6.15 p.m. right here in the Council Chambers. So you know who, who you all are, Council Fowler, Council Azak, Council Derencourt, and Council Morning here next Monday evening at 6.15 here in the Council Chambers. Thank you. Thank you, Council. Council Fowler, please. Yes, Mr. President, I hate to do it to the Ordinance Committee, but we're going to have to have a meeting on Wednesday, the 23rd of October at 6 o'clock. I do realize there is a mayoral debate that evening. Hopefully we'll conclude uh, in time for those who wish to go to the mayoral debate. Um, the Stormwater Management Ordinance, which we've been asked to consider by the DPW, that has a uh, time-sensitive issue on it. And if we don't act and we don't have our stormwater management policies and procedures in, in effect, according to Commissioner Rowley, we could have some issues with either the state or the US EPA. So that and a couple of other matters have to be on that agenda. I have cleared that date with Attorney Resnick. So 6 p.m. here in Council Chamber on the 23rd of October for the Ordinance Committee. Thank you, Council Fowler. Anything else before us, Councilors? Anything else? Seeing none, drive safely. Have a good evening. Thank you. We're adjourned.